good morning children so see in the last class i have discussed about what is computer systems computer system is a machine its part or its component that is hardware and software even i have told you hardware are the part of computer which we can touch whereas software is a part of computer which we cannot touch isn't it children so after that i even told you that hardware is categorized in two part that is internal and external internal component and external component or internal hardware device and external hardware device we have already discussed some of the internal hardware device isn't it so last discussion was up to disk drive i told you disk drive example like hard disk cd dvds and all and what are their uses so today we'll continue internal hardware device again with some more component or some more devices and see this is your uh, next topic so in continuation to internal hardware today's our first topic is smps which stand for switched mode power supply it is the main device of computer as soon as we press the start button of cpu the back side of cpu one fan is there which start rotating and once it is start rotate it supply the power to different hardware components maybe internal maybe external so if this does not function properly the entire computer system will not work so backbone of computer smps switched mode power supply so next to that we have modem modem is actually divided in two part mo and dem modulator and demodulator modulator and demodulator this modem is used for internet connections for internet connection modem is required that is very important without the modem we cannot work modulation and demodulations should be there that means our signal should be converted to digital signal and again digital signal should be converted to our signal so this conversion of signals are done by a device known as modem it can be internal it can be external modem is of two type internal modem as well as external modem used for internet connections so next to that we have heat sink heat sink is like an exhaust fan our processor the cpu it does all sort of work it get uh, or it releases lots of heat so to make the processor cool we need a heat sink the work of heat sink it absorbs the heat from the cpu processor and throughout it can be again of two type active and passive active heat sink and passive heat sink so after heat sink the next part we have is ports ports are used for additional components extra device external hardware device if you want to connect to the cpu we need the help of ports because the wire will be connected to ports so these ports are categorized again in different type so first type i have listed is serial port serial ports are used for connection like we can connect some printers are there some keyboard and mouse are there which can be connected to serial ports they are also known as com port communication port so next to serial port parallel port where multiple datas are sent together such type of device can be connected to parallel bits some printers are there which supports parallel ports ps2 ps2 ports are a uh, circle circular ports with six holes some olden types of keyboard and mouse they are used to be connected in ps2 ports so next to ps2 we have usb universal serial bus usp 
यूनिवर्सल सीरियल बस पेन ड्राइव द मॉडर्न कीबोर्ड एंड माउस प्रिंटर्स ऑल द लेटेस्ट डिवाइस आर कनेक्टेड टू यूएसबी पोर्ट्स सो नेक्स्ट टू दैट वी हैव अ वीजीए वीडियो ग्राफिक एरे वीजीए स्टैंड फॉर वीडियो ग्राफिक एरे वीजीए पोर्ट्स एंड वीजीए पोर्ट्स आर यूज्ड फॉर बेटर और एसडी क्वालिटी वीडियोस सो वीडियो कार्ड्स आर कनेक्टेड वीडियो ग्राफिक एरेस दिस पोर्ट इज यूज्ड फॉर वीडियो कार्ड्स सो चिल्ड्रन सो दिस आर द टोटल लिस्ट ऑफ internal hardware components so now we have another part that is external so let me tell you few thing about external external means a device which are supporting to the hardware internal hardware to make our work convenient easier we use some external hardware components so see what are external hardware components in our syllabus okay so children external hardware components are categorized again in different parts like input device output device storage device so first of all we will come to the input devices so input device are the device through which computer gets the data we sends the data to the computer through input device so input device some categorization some important device are listed here like keyboard keyboards are input device used for typing it has multiple keys alphabet keys number keys symbolic keys function keys cursor control keys so different sort of keys are there in the keyboards basically there are 104 keys on a standard keyboard 104104 so next type we have is a mouse so children mouse is a pointing device it is used to point it basically we used to draw or point the object or move the object so this mouse are also known as hand held device we can held in our hand mouse categorization is again four different types the first type is mechanical mouse the old type mouse then came is a trackball mouse a ball was there at the back of mouse which used to rotate when we used to move then after that we have optical mouse so nowadays we are using optical which works on light and most recent or you can say the new technology of mouse is a wireless mouse without any wire even wireless keyboard are also available so after mouse the next type we have is a scanner a scanner is used to scan or it is used to send the images or text which is in paper which is in written form which is in uh, like still images that we can send to the computer with the help of a scanner a scanner is again of two type uh, one is hand held scanner you can say bar barcode scanner in shopping mall and all you can see there they just simply click on the object on the things and that price and all everything are stored on a computer and second type is flat bed scanner it's a bigger one big in size where you can scan the papers and all and we can put in the computer so fourth one is microphone 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 is used to record our voice we can record our voice to the computer in the computer with the help of microphone then comes is light pen so drawing with mouse is bit difficult because we need to move the mouse in a flat surface and the cursor moves accordingly and creating a perfect image is bit tough but when i give you a pen or pencil and if i tell you to draw in a piece of paper that is more easier so based on this concept for drawing and all light pen was introduced with the help of light pen we can draw the object directly on the screen on the monitor so sixth type we have is digital camera so digital camera is also 
an input device reason when you click the photos and that photos you can store in a computer through USB or maybe um, card reader or something like that. So digital camera is also known as input devices. So these are additional. These are used based on our requirement for our benefits. Without this also computer can be on, computer will be on, but will be unable to do the work because for work we need uh, extra devices and that extra device in categorization of input device are these six. Is this clear children? So now let us move to the output device. So see, for output device, I have listed here like three, monitor, printer and projector. So first of all, let me tell you what is output device. The device through which the data, whatever we have inputted to computer, after processed, get displayed. Means the device which interact towards user, which display the result to the user. So this device, first part is monitor. Monitor is a most common output device. Monitor gives us whatever we send to the computer. The informations are provided to us as a soft copy through monitor. This monitor are of two different types, CRT, LCD. CRT is the olden one, cathode ray tube, the thick, fat, bulky computer monitor. But nowadays we have a thin one, slim one with good picture quality that is LCD stand for liquid crystal display so next to monitor we have printer printer is also output device it gives the output as a hard copy the printed form in a piece of paper these printers are categorized in three different types the most common one dot matrix is a dotted form the text appears in a dotted form if you go to the railway ticket counter they will give you the bill in a dotted forms. The text you can see, whatever letter is written, whatever character is written, all will be in dotted form. That is printed through dot matrix. Dot matrix is not used for image printing. Next is inkjet. Inkjet is good for image printing, photo printing. It has a ink in a small cartridge and that ink is spread on the paper and print quality and it prints. Print quality is good but the best one is the laser one, laser printer. It has a powder, ink powder is there that is kept in a drum and that based on the rotations it prints on a piece of paper. So that is laser printer. So printer are categorized in three different parts, dot matrix, inkjet and laser. And the third type is a projector which is also known as LCD projector. With the help of projector, we doesn't need a monitor. We can see the images, videos, picture, or whatever is there in the computer in a screen, a big screen, maybe wall, or maybe a piece of, um, like you can use a big screen. Okay, projector screens are also available. So this projector is also a, an output device. So children, what are the output device? Monitor, printer, and projector. Even speaker is there for uh, listening songs and all. Plotter is there for big quality printing. Okay. So they are the output device. They are also used based on our requirement. So next type we have is a storage device. Okay. So see, for a storage device, like the device which is used for storage, we can store the data or informations. So they are known as a storage device. So first part is hard disks. Hard disks are fixed inside the CPU box. They are used for uh, large storage. They can vary up to 1 TB, terabyte, even 2 TB, 8 TBs, many are there. So hard disks, they are even used to store all the applications and even operating systems of a computer. So next to hard disks, we have CD-ROM, compact disk, read-only memory, the circular shape CDs. They are used for storage. You can store movies, songs, documents and all. But capacity is less. Maximum is around 700 MB. Megabytes. Then comes this DVD. 
डिजिटल वर्सटाइल डिस्क डिजिटल वर्सटाइल डिस्क सिक्स टाइम्स ऑलमोस्ट सिक्स टाइम्स मोर कैपेसिटी ऑफ सीडी डीवीडी हैज इफ सीडी कैन स्टोर वन मूवी देन डीवीडी कैन स्टोर सिक्स मूवीज स्टोरेज इज बिट लार्जर लुक्स ऑलमोस्ट सेम सो इवन विथ मोर कैपेसिटी अराउंड ट्वेंटी फाइव जीबी गीगा बाइट्स दैट इज ब्लू रे डिस्क लुक्स इज सेम ऑनली it is used for sd videos high definition videos because they have large capacity storage size is more and fifth part is flash drive the pen drive the smaller device even memory card that comes in flash drive they are of a small size with high capacity and they are also storage device so this storage device are also external hardware even hard disk internal external both are available so these devices are help us to store the datas and to carry from one place to another so children this is all about your chapter that is computer hardware components so from this chapter the exercise are given as homework and i hope everyone will complete this so that when school gets reopen i will check is this clear children okay so see your homework so children your uh homework from the chapter 1 is all the exercise where question answer are given with answer and rest like fill in the blanks multiple choice true false you have to do by your own so your first exercise that is fill in the blanks there are four questions dash are given which you have to fill and for this filling of dash you have to listen the videos the tutorials which i have explained number b second exercise is about true false you have to write t for true and f for false so read the question properly and write the answer accordingly third is your multiple choice question for each question you have three options read the question properly understand it and tick the correct answer out of three options and this and the last exercise is about question answer where there are total six question all the question along with the answer are given here write down this in your copy go through it question 1 and 2 are here 3 4 and 5 and this is question number 